What is up, everybody? Okay, so this is just a <clears throat> little uh, tips and tricks, right? Post-production. Why is post-production so important? It is. It is. You know, you get a lot of people saying, oh, I did this in one go, no post-production or whatever. It's all good. It's all good. But post-production is amazing. It's amazing because you get to you get to finish off your image, boom, completely, okay? You get to finish off your image completely there there look at that look at the difference really polish it off so there's a couple of things i want to show you here there's this layer i rendered out the body and then i rendered out the body uh i rendered out the blood the blood on the body right and why is this important because the the blood on the body was uh it's like an add-on in daz uh, but sometimes you don't get exactly what you want, right? There's some cool things, there's some not so cool things. And what it allows you to do when you start rendering it out as a separate layer, the cool thing here is you can start taking it away from different areas. Like let's say you didn't want the blood over there or not over here. You can start defining with the mask. Here's the mask. Uh, <laughs> my layering is terrible. But anyway, we're not looking at that, but I have the the one with the blood and then I've, I've added a mask to it right a little mask and from there you get to define where you want that blood you know what i mean you know what as is a saying something like that you know you can define where you want it and then if you want it back the reason we use a mask is because you can just paint paint it back where you want it you see you see the power the power whatever power you have Unless it's just a fantastic way of working. Really, it is love. Really. And you can start doing whatever you want. Right? So, that's the power of masks and stuff. And rendering out different layers. Right? You can just start going in and putting the blood where you want. and You have absolute control. Which is the coolest thing. Right? That's the cool thing. Right. Next one is, uh, let's say you've done with this and you're, you know. Here's the, here's the image. And now I'm just going to go through a couple of things that I use. A couple of things that I use to, you know, pop the image out. Like, uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Love. Little things like the vignettes. Different kinds of vignettes. Okay. Let's go into here then. The eyes. The eyes, love. Look. Look at the eyes. Look how different they are. That's the render. And these are the enhancements. You see what they do? I've painted them black done a couple of things here I've uh, first of all I've changed them to black you can see here a lot of them get darker and black which made it a little bit more scary um, I accentuated this one's eyes over here cut them out accentuated them a bit you know it's popping things out look at her eye this is her eye now that's without it's kind of dull and then with it boom it's just gives it that little bit of a boost right a little bit of a boost love and then the highlights, look, you see these little, let's zoom in a little. Look, look at the highlights, little dots, little dots in the eyes, and look what they do, look what they do. They just, boom, boom. They just add that little bit more, uh, okay, not that one, but yeah, okay, you get what I'm saying. It's just little dots that you add in post. They look at that one, boom, it just makes them a little bit more juicy. Uh, Ari, um, and that's that's that. You know, uh, then you know, pop the image out a little bit more. Put in some flares. You know, you see that. You see the way they kind of just pop a little bit. Just boom. Put in some flares, and that you can just do easily with like Ron's brushes or something, or painting them. I put a little bit of a dust here. Look at that, Ari. Little bit of a dust, just something there to just ever so slightly. Remember, you don't have to go crazy with things. You can just put little subtle things that just bring things out. That's it. And then this little guy. Look at this one. Because without him, without him, it looks a little bit weird, is not it? It looks a little bit dark and weird, is not it? So, how I fixed that was I cut this dude's head out. This guy. I just cut his head out. I rotated it. I whatever. I put in here brightness contrast blur because he's closer to the camera and he's subtle you don't really catch him if you're not looking for him you're looking here and uh, you don't really catch him but he just fits there perfectly 
instead of that. Blech. Look at it. Look at it, Hardy. Go to hell, Hardy. Go to hell. And then you put his head in there, and it just looks better, right? And then a little bit of smoke. Look here. Just a poof. You know, these are Ron's brushes. Just a little bit of a poof. Just, just brings things a little bit more into it. And then obviously the vignette. Without the vignette, look at this image. Yeah, it's disgusting. But look, I want to. What do I want to do with this image? I want to focus it. I want to focus it here. There's my focus. So I guide people's eyes to it. Look, everything kind of the arm leads to her. This part when they're looking leads to her. These guys look at her. You know, everything kind of leads to the image. And the vignette does the exact same thing. Use a vignette to darken areas where you don't care about, you don't care about, and then all of a sudden it's, it, it focuses you. Look, look, it just, bam, what's that? Ugh, it's disgusting, mate. Where am I looking? Where am I looking? I don't know, mate. But add these, boom, and all of a sudden it becomes clear. It focuses you to where you want the person to look at, okay? And that's this poor little thing here, okay? Uh, so, Little tips and tricks, little tips and tricks to help you on your way. Post-production is ridiculously important, man. It's ridiculously important. Um, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an incredible tool. So don't, don't not use it because you think, oh, it's better if I can make it all in one. I mean, it's not, man. It's your end result. It's your end result people care about. Uh, and how you get there is up to you, you know. Uh, but post-production is where the power lies in an image it is from that or from let's let's just delay i just have a little look here Hardy. from something like this i think i've got like vignettes here too you know from something like this to this look at the difference boom Look at what I can do, Ari. That's why I don't really care about the render. The render needs to be damn good, sure. But it's post-production, which makes it great. Anyway, I hope this helps. Thanks for joining me. I'll speak to you guys later. Have a great weekend. Go, Fadi. Go sit in the corner, you wee mm, filthy, dirty, wanker. And have a great weekend, guys. Bye, guys.